so these are the topics that you need to study for in lower limb uh, these are basically the important topics uh, besides that you need to study everything but uh, you need to start with these topics first after completing these you can proceed with uh, all the other topics right now uh, i have given it in the form of long answer type questions wherein i have given a uh, few questions here yeah after that uh, in short answer type questions i have um, like i made a table here wherein i i gave um, like content means uh, it it means that front of the is the chapter name uh, and the saqs all the what are all the saqs that you may expect from that chapter and what are the, uh, and what are all the vsaqs that you may expect from that chapter and like that i did it for every chapter if you see here it is medial side of thigh gluteal region back of thigh front of leg lateral and medial side of thigh back of leg sole of foot and joints of lower limb like in this way i made a saq and vsaq so hope it will help you so um i like i've put the i'll put the pdf in the description below so download it from there and you can um uh, just have it uh, just give it a look and follow these questions complete these questions first and now uh these are the questions and uh, first complete these questions because these are pretty much important uh if you keep uh, uh, keep the entire book in in front of you then uh, it will be a mess so i've cleared a lot of questions and i filtered out a lot of questions so don't remove questions from these right follow all these questions you need to complete all these questions because i uh, like i myself have filtered out a lot and uh, gave you these questions so um uh like these are the questions yeah so please don't remove any questions from these um try to complete each and every question yeah i wanted to add a point over here that is um, i'll explain you with a, with an example over here if you take this question that is dorsalis pedis artery uh they may uh, they might ask this question in form of saq that is short answer type question or they may ask it in, ask it in the form of very short type question because it is po it is possible for them to ask in this sort because um, in in that uh, at that time you need to be very much flexible over there and uh, you should have that concept inside you then only you can regulate the answers properly you should know how much to write for a uh, short answer question and you should know how much to write for a very short answer question now how will you uh, know that uh, you need to calculate yourself uh, and uh, it depends on your speed of writing the answer and it de it depends on the time that you have been allotted for the answer and uh, all these factors matter a lot so you should calculate all these factors and uh, at that point of time you should uh, you should be able to convert uh, if they ask that in the form of a short answer question then uh, you should elaborate it uh, somewhat more but uh, if if at all they ask it for a very short answer question but uh, then you should um, concise it pretty much and you should present it so that's it uh, if you like this video then press that like button and subscribe to channel and press that bell icon to be notified because i'll be doing um, videos of this sort uh, so and i'll be doing videos on these topics also so stay tuned till then bye bye